In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Tonight we're going to speak about, or we're going to start to speak about an important thing in our church and in any church. Without the thing that we're going to speak about, and we're going to know the name of it, the church is not a church. The church is not a church. Because there is some characteristics of any church, of any Christian church, that it has to offer to the congregation or the believer an order for this congregation to, call, to be called a church. One of the most important things that characterize any church, and especially our Coptic Orthodox Church, something very, very, very essential and very important. What we call the sacraments. The sacraments of the church. And I know that you have an idea about the sacraments of the church. And we're going to go into details about the sacraments of the church. But first, I want to let you know or affirm something. Without sacraments, the church is not a church. And we're going to know why now. We're going to know why by the meaning of the word sacrament itself. What is the meaning of a sacrament? What is the meaning of a sacrament? Come on, you go to Sunday school, right? And you know the sacraments of the church. What does a sacrament mean? What happened for any believer who comes to receive a sacrament and go outside with something? The process is a sacrament. But what actually happened? Go ahead. Yes. A sacrament? I can't hear. A blessing. Very good. That's one key word. But it is not the full meaning of the word sacrament. I appreciate that. What is a sacrament? Go ahead. The Holy Spirit. Another key word, but this is not the answer. It's a key word, and it is an, in the answer. But what is a sacrament? Commitment you have to make to the church or to God. Actually, it is the opposite. A commitment from the church to you. Or from God to you. What is a sacrament? Go ahead. Baptize. Baptize. That's one of them. But the, the meaning of the word itself, sacrament. The, wind, the, the word sacrament, or the church sacrament, is, and please be careful about what you hear, and try to know it, try to put it in your mind. A church sacrament is an unseen, you can't see, is an unseen grace or a blessing, like what you say, okay? Unseen grace or blessing or gift, Undiv uh, sorry, unseen divine gift, is given to re the receiver of the sacrament through the work of the Holy Spirit. Again, a sacrament is unseen gift that I, the receiver of the sacrament, get from the Holy Spirit. How? 
We know that the Holy Spirit can give you any gift, any time, any how. But in the sacrament, there is some details. There is some conditions. So the sacrament, we have to know that. What is the sacrament? Unseen, huh? Gift or grace? Unseen, divine gift or divine grace? We receive it from the Holy Spirit. How? How? How is the key to be a sacrament? We receive unseen through seen or heard prayers and rites that performed by the priest. Again, do you need to say something? something? No, this is one of the sacraments. I said how. How we receive this unseen gift by a seen right. Right means something Abuna do or Abuna and the deacon and the congregation do together. Something we do together and pray together. And through the prayers and the rites, what we do together, we receive this gift, divine gift. So now, can you give me the definition of the word sacrament? All of it? First, we said it's unseen gift or unseen divine grace that we receive it through, uh, sorry, by the Holy, through the Holy Spirit by a priest, prayers, and some kind of rites. Can anybody say it? Shamam Sakubar. What is a sacrament? I just said it now. I'm going to help anybody who raises his hand. Huh? Okay, Joseph. A sacrament is. is is an unseen gift by a seen person. Very good. Unseen gift that we receive through the Holy Spirit by the prayers and the rites performed by a priest. Again. You want to say it? Come. An unseen gift that is received by the Holy Spirit by the prayers from the priests and rites from the priests. Very good. So the sacrament is unseen divine grace or divine gift received through the Holy Spirit by, and this is very important, by the prayers and the rites performed by the priest. So now we know what is a sacrament. And any church if we want to call it a church, it has to have, to have sacraments. Very good. Now come to the Coptic Orthodox Church, our church. How, this is a very easy question, please don't call out, just raise your hand. How many sacraments that you know we have in our Coptic Orthodox Church? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Only nine people? Come on, guys. Are you Coptic or not? Are you Coptic Orthodox? Okay, so you have to know that just on the top of your mind. How many sacraments we have in the church? Don't call out. How many sacraments? Go ahead. Yes. Seven. Very good. Can you name them? Some of them? Okay, go ahead. Baptism. Okay. That's it? Okay. Two. Can you say, the, who can say the seven together? The seven sacraments. Come here, Joseph. Come here. How many, how many we have? Seven. 
baptized chrismate you baptism chrismate eucharist uh, marriage unction of the sick confession and ordination of the priest very good, very good. Ordination of the priest or the priesthood. Very nice. Seven sacraments we have in the church. Seven sacraments. You receive some of them, definitely. Any of you, you receive some of them. But not all of them. Because there are certain sacraments, maybe you need it, and maybe, maybe you don't need it. For example, the unction of the sick. I didn't get sick to the point that I need that sacrament. Yeah, I have some cold or some flu or something like that. It's so easy. I take the medicine and thank God, God heal me. But there are certain maladies or sickness that needs the, inter the inter uh, inter interceding of the Holy Spirit. It needs the Holy Spirit. So we need the unction of the sick. But not all of you. Another sacrament, the priesthood. There is certain people that receive this sacrament. Not everyone. Not everyone. And so on and so forth. So there are certain sacraments I have to receive it to become a Christian. Like baptism. Huh? Another one. Hmm. Before that, huh? Huh? Myron, the chrismation of Myron, huh? Communion or Eucharist, we call it Eucharist. The Eucharist, very good. So now we know that this is seven sacraments we have in the church. The question now is why seven? Can we have eight? Can we have ten? Why not? Why seven? Go ahead. Very nice. I really like your answer. Seven in the church and in the Bible, it gives us the idea of huh? perfection. Perfection. Why we have this idea about the number seven? Because in the Bible, we found, huh? You want to say it? Huh? Yeah, seven is the perfect number. Why? How did you get this idea? Go ahead. Very good. Because in the story of creation, God completed the creation and rested in seven days. So number seven gave us the impression that this is the perfection. God completed everything. So number seven for us, give us the idea of perfection. So the same we have in our church, we have seven sacraments. The, the number seven, perfection, the number of perfection. Another reason, there is a prophecy in the Old Testament about the church of the New Testament. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 1, listen to this and give me, give me the meaning of this verse. Okay? You listen to me? Guys, you listen to Abuna? The verse is from the book of Proverbs. What is the verse says? The verse says, wisdom, wisdom has built her house. So there is wisdom and there is house being built. She, which is the wisdom, has set up its seven pillars. The wisdom sets up the house seven pillars on the top of seven pillars. What is the meaning? What is the meaning?
The house is the church. And this, there are seven pillars that carry the church. But who is the wisdom? Who is the wisdom of God? Who is the wisdom of God? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Because we say our Lord Jesus Christ is the Logos or the Word of God. And the Word means the thinking, the wisdom, the intellect of God. So this means the, the wisdom which our Lord Jesus Christ built his house, which is the church, on seven pillars, which are the seven sacraments. Okay, now we finish for today. Next time, God willing, we're going to know so many things about the seven sacraments of the church. We're going to know what the sacraments gave us, why we need the sacraments, why the church is not a church without sacraments. All of this we're going to know next time. But the most important thing I want you to take home today in your mind is the meaning of the word sacrament means unseen gift or grace from God we receive through the Holy Spirit by the prayers and the rites performed by who? The priest. And glory be to God 